Would you like to learn how to make a molecule like this? Then I've got the show for you. Today, we are going to be learning how to make a molecule like this. The supplies you'll need are straws, wiffle balls, um, spray paint to spray your wiffle balls with, tape, scissors, and hot glue. You may or may not need the hot glue, but it's always a good thing to have. So, to start, I decided to, I went on the internet and decided which molecule I was going to make. I chose an aspirin molecule because it is not an extremely easy molecule to make like carbon dioxide and it's not an extremely hard one with a bunch of dimensions. Um, I made a one dimensional drawing instead of having to print out the picture of what I would, I would need. Um, so I labeled all of my wiffle balls that I would need with their um, color. And so this is my one dimensional uh, picture of my aspirin molecule. And then, so to start making it, taking it from one dimensional to three dimensional, I spray painted my wiffle balls. I hung them on a ribbon to spray to spray paint them. To spray paint them, I hung them on a ribbon, and then hung them on a planting stake, and spray painted them. Let them dry. Then took them in and decided to connect them with straws. Um, I used two different sizes of wiffle balls. So, one, the smaller size, which is over here, the straw just goes straight into, but for the larger size, um, you have to fold the straw so that it stays in and it doesn't just slip out. So, to, to connect them both ways, I fold the straw like this. And so that's your basic connection. Um, I did cut my straws in half so that it's not a huge jumbo molecule and it's still nice and easy to work with. And I, what I did is to make it three dimensional and make it pop out um, and to give me help with this dimension, I cut up a green straw and put to about two and a half inches, you get three out of it, and then have a little bit extra. And then um, put tape on the end in a circle. I'll do it for you. So kind of taped it and then made a circle out of it. Oops. Like that. And so it would stick up here like that and then you'd be able to either hot glue it to your wiffle ball or tape it to your wiffle ball. So in the end it would hang like that so that it's three-dimensional. Um, the second part I did is go back on the internet and find the same picture I found in the first place and um, found or looked at the dimensions of it and put the wiffle balls that I needed to have the green um, stands on, put those on, and attached them to either the wall that I used, or a poster board if you're going to take it somewhere. And then started building it from there. Um, I already had kind of roughly put it together. I didn't use the green things um, to start with. And then I said, oh, I need to use these, so I did that. So, it, as you can see, there's no, there's green things here and none here because it's two-dimensional. Um, the silver ones are hydrogen atoms, the black ones are carbon atoms, and the red ones are oxygen atoms. Um, it doesn't matter what kind of molecule you'd like to make. I hope this gave you an overview on how to make a model. Tune in next time for How Do I Make This?